I'm sitting here working on a video and I just got some good news and I think you will be excited about it too because uh, this is super exciting for me. This is probably the two sickest bikes I've ever had and I'm going to pick up one now. It came out of the box, the front brake was all messed up, something was bent so I had to take it there and get that fixed and I wanted to go tubeless so I got that set up also and now I just got the message saying the bike is ready. So now we gotta go pick it up. As you probably guessed, I'm going to pick it up at Trek. Love the guys at Trek, they always take good care of me. But I have a question for you. If you live in the Denver, Colorado area, do you have a bike shop that you like to go to? Like a locally owned bike shop? Let me know. Right, as you know, recently, I've been wanting to ride really simple, budget, affordable bikes, and the three years or four years I've been riding now, I've gone through my stages where I wanted to ride the best full suspension, upgrade my bike, ride this bike, ride that bike, and I found myself just really liking it, just plain and simple. I don't want a lot of things to think about when I'm riding a bike. I just want the bike to work, be functional, and be fun on the trails. And that's where this bike comes in that we just picked up. It's all ready to go. And I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too, because for what you get, I think it's very affordable. And it's a pretty sick bike. And here it is. We got the Breezer Thunder. Now, I took a tour at the Pro's Closet and they talked about Joe Breeze and how he was one of the first people to start with the mountain bike. It's super cool to be able to ride one of these bikes knowing the history of Joe Breeze and the simplicity of it. This bike looks sick, it's awesome. And the guy that I was working with for Eminent, he was able to make this happen and I really appreciate it. This bike is one of the bikes I've been wanting. Full rigid, simple, a lot of modern geometry and modern specs on the bike and just see how it rides because I think it'll be a lot of fun especially with the trails I have here in Colorado. I also have another Breezer bike but I picked that up tomorrow. I didn't have the bike rack today so we couldn't pick both bikes up at the same time but that bike would be pretty interesting too and I think you'll like it but this bike this has to be the coolest bike I've ever owned. I just realized this was in the shot. Before any of you ask, my car doesn't have the hitch on it. So the car with the hitch is not here. So I wasn't able to put the bike rack on. That's why I wasn't able to bring both bikes back at the same time. But forget all about that. Let's talk about this bike right here. Got the Joe Breezer bike. This is the Breezer Thunder. It's got the WTB Vigilante tires. Look how, look how grippy these things are. These, this tread is out of control. I'm interested to see how that'll be with the rolling resistance on the trails if it'll slow me up. But I like how much grip it has. It'll, it'll probably give me some more cushion with this fork being rigid. This is an all steel frame, which is really cool. I've never ridden steel before. I hear a lot of people say steel is a little more supple than aluminum. So we'll have to see about that. It's got a wide range of gears, one by 12, huge cassette. It's running the trusted Shimano Dior. That's always worked great for me. I got the PNW pedals on here. I always gotta run the PNWs on there. These are my favorite pedals. It has Tektro hydraulic brakes on it. And I actually don't mind these brakes if I'm being honest because these Tektro brakes have worked well for me. So for the amount of stopping power I need, this is plenty for me. I really like these grips. So with the bike being rigid, I feel like it'll give you that extra little cushion, I guess you could say, in the hands to where you don't feel as many bumps. This bike does come with the dropper post. It's got the KS dropper post. This is what I have on my Eminent Onset as well, so I'm pretty used to this dropper post. One thing I do like about this is if this dropper post doesn't go high enough, it's got the quick release right here. So you could just pull that and lift the, the seat post up if you need to or lower it. And this is the Breezer Thunder. This is the logo right on the top tube by the headset. 
So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the bike because I wasn't able to, to get outside and ride it. I wanted to introduce it to you on the trail, but this was just too exciting for me to be able to hold back. And I wanted to at least give you a first look. Another good thing about this, it's got a whole bunch of mounts on the bike. So if you wanted to take this adventure biking or bike packing, you can do that as well with this bike. The head angle is really slack for what this is. Not sure the degree, but it looks pretty aggressive and it's definitely trail ready. So I'm excited to take this out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them if I can. And I can't wait to take this thing out on the trail. I would highly advise you, I haven't ridden it yet, but I would highly advise you to check this out because while I haven't ridden it yet, I have really, really high expectations and hopes on that this bike will will do well. I think it will. I plan to get some PNW handlebars on here. I mean, these are decent, but I just like my PNW handlebars. So these are super wide. I might have to ride them for a little bit until I get the PNWs in. I mean, maybe I'll cut these down and, and ride them and see how they feel. But yeah, these are super long. I feel like 800 millimeters. But I'll just probably switch these out, put the PNWs on there and cut them down to probably like 7, 760-ish is usually what I do. But let me know if you have any, if you have a rigid bike or any bike like this, let me know. I was really interested in the Surly bikes because these are similar to the Surleys. But I'm kind of glad I was able to get my hands on this because you don't see a whole lot of Breezer bikes out there. And it's always cool to have that bike out there that a lot of people don't get to see in person. I just want to drop this quick video for you, introduce you to the new bike. Stay tuned for the next video, which will probably drop the day after this one. A first look at the other new bike that I think you'll enjoy. So we got a lot of things happening. I'm really excited. Let me know what you think about the bike and I'll see y'all on the trail.